Hey guys, so what I'm planning on being probably the last as far as the upgrades for the TiVo for the foreseeable future, um, I'm planning on printing some brackets that will mount right up here on the top of this rail. Uh, I found some on Thingiverse I think will work perfect. They're not exactly what I was planning on. I was planning on printing some that would hook onto these holes back here, but these brackets appear to hook into these, which that will work out just fine. In fact, it might be a little bit more stable with it being spread out like that. So I'm going to slice them and, and print them in uh, on the on the TiVo tarantula. That way, it continues the the theme of upgrading itself. Another thing I did is I went uh, actually I picked these up on Amazon, I believe it was, and they are the T nuts. I picked up a whole bag of them. I think there's like 50 of them here uh, because I do have another printer that uses the same kind of a frame that I'm going to be assembling soon. So I figured just to be on the safe side, I better pick some extras up. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, get everything sliced, and start this to printing. I'll see you guys at the end of the time lapse. Okay, so it took uh, just under two hours. It was like one hour and 45 minutes to print. Printed very nicely. Looking good. Okay, so now the next thing I gotta do is I've gotta come up with the screws and everything to put this together. Now this back part's gonna go together with just the, the screws that are on the, the back of the LCD screen. But, for the T-nuts, I'm going to need the bolts to go down through the top here. So I'm going to measure those real quick, run to the town run to town real quick, pick them up, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so I've got everything pretty much set up here. Um, I've got my two brackets that we just printed. Uh, I have uh, two of the T-nuts. I had one from the old, uh, there's an extra from the kit, and then I grabbed one out of the bag of T-nuts that I purchased. So I got those. And then I picked up a package of these uh, four millimeter by 12 millimeter button socket machine screws. Um, it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I was hoping to get something similar to what came with it, but uh, I think these will work just fine. They are uh, black in color, uh, but that's gonna be just fine. It's because it's gonna blend right in with that. So it'll work out. Okay, so next thing I need to do, I need to figure out how I'm going to go ahead and mount this. Now, once again, this is going to use these contact points, not these. So I want to go ahead and space them out correctly, get everything set up that way up there. The wires I'm going to take and play with later on. So if it's not routed correctly, forgive me in this video, but I'll, uh, I want to pick up some more of this loom. Um, I just need to get the larger size so that, that I can run both the cables through it. So let's go ahead and get it started here. First thing I want to do is go ahead and run our screw through the base. So this, the holes are a little bit small on the brackets. So by rights I should have uh, took a drill bit to it or something, but I'll work it here a little bit. There, it's loosening up now. So now I should be able to, yep, run it through a little bit more. And I think we're going to be good. Okay, now let's see if we got enough slack there to work with the T-nut. Once again, the T-nut will go so that these grooves are facing upward. There we go. So far, so good. Yep, that locked into place. So let's go ahead and get this one Put in probably right about there. Yeah. Loosen that up just a hair more. There we go. Probably won't be the straightest or you know the most evened up here on the top here, but it'll be all right. Okay, so that one's in place. 
This one I'm just going to speed through it in editing. Okay, so I've got that kind of in place. Now I just want to take this and get an idea of where to space it at. And we're going to go right about there. Once I get it locked down a little bit, I'll put it back up there and adjust it. that that's looking pretty close actually I think that's going to be pretty close right there so let's just go ahead and lock that into place As far as, I mean, that's as good as you're going to get it, considering that there's that bracket right there. <laughs> okay, and ironically, it's the same Allen wrench is going to take care of these screws back here. I'm going to lay it down on the print bed so I can undo them. And I'm actually going to need pliers. See, can I see it there? No. Maybe I'm just going to use pliers to hold the standoff, and that way I can start removing those. Now right now, as you can tell, some of these are really loose. So I'm going to take this opportunity to swap out some of the screws. I do have some of the shorter ones compared to the longer ones. So I'm going to take my op the opportunity right now to go ahead and swap out the longer screws for these shorter ones on this, this front panel. Okay, that turned out good. So let's just go ahead and fish this up through here. That's kind of where I want the wires. Like I said, I'm going to work on the wires later on. I believe that's the right side for that. And what I'll do is I'll set this plate up here. And then these screws just fit through and screw into the stand through the plexiglass plate into the standoffs. Perfect. There we go. Good. Two more screws and we'll be home free. And by rights, I could have probably went and picked up uh, longer screws than what these were, uh, just to be absolutely on the safe side, but it's working perfectly fine. Well, screws give me a little bit of a problem there. I think it just slipped in. Yep. Oh, nice. That fits like a glove. I'm really surprised that worked out so good. I was afraid I was going to have to probably get some longer screws, but uh, it turned out those worked out just fine. There it is. And just be on the safe side, let's plug it in, see if it comes on. Make sure it got the right side up. And I do. 
like I said, I will take and I will work on these wires, uh, put them in the proper sleeving and everything so that it won't look out of place. But that's going to work perfect. I do wish it was more centered, but at the same time, it's going to be just right like that. It gets it off the desk, out of the way. The only thing I have that's that's kind of a, a little bit of a nuisance is actually the power supply as far as moving the TiVo around. But uh, that's going to pretty much wrap this one up. So, next uh, project I got is to start working on the D200. Uh, I've got some wires to change out on that. So that's in an upcoming video, but thank goodness the TiVo is done. Um, I do plan on putting some fuses on the power supply. So later on I might uh, do that, do a video on that. Otherwise it's pretty much straightforward on that part of it. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too, that way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.